Well, the decision to close the, uh, the ROTC program here at Moorhead State, it's not a performance-based decision, meaning that uh, we were not uh, identified as an underperforming program or, or anything else. And what the Army is doing is they've announced the closure of 13 schools across the United States. And unfortunately, Moorhead State is one of those programs. Um, and the reason that they've done that is, based on some analysis done in the past years, uh, what they've figured out is, in order to posture ROTC um, to better support the Army going forward, there are some, some other markets, diversity markets, um, science, technology, engineering, and math markets that the Army needs to recruit in and commission officers in in order to be better postured for future operations um, in support of the United States Army. Um, and it's not to say that Moorhead doesn't have those degrees in those areas of expertise on campus. Um, it's just saying that with budget cuts, with cuts in the size of the force, with the shift in demographics um, in the United States over the past you know, 20, 30 years, the Army and Cadet Command has assessed that we may not be in the right areas to build that, uh, that base of force and uh, we simply may not have enough resources right now to be in all 278 programs across the United States where we need to be. I think the program here started in 1968 and uh, over the past 45 years this university has provided over 650 officers um, to the United States Army to serve in either the reserve or active component. Just a few years ago we had the number one cadet in the nation. Um, so it's, it's a good program uh, we've produced great officers in support of the Army, and uh, those officers continue to do great things in the Army.